Just like in Breath of the Wild, you'll want to awaken each of the four great fairies in Hyrule as soon as you can, as they provide players with a very important service, the ability to upgrade your equipment if you come to them with the right materials. However, unlike Breath of the Wild, unlocking each fairy fountain is not as simple as just handing over a bunch of rupees. Today, I'll go over the locations of each of the four great fairy fountains here in Tears of the Kingdom, and I'll show you how to complete the side adventures that end with the awakening of each fairy. Let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Before we can awaken any of the great fairies, we first need to trigger the Potential Princess Sightings side adventure. This could be done by going to the Lucky Clover Gazette, which is located just east of Rito Village. Speak to Tracy and Penn inside to trigger the side adventure. Speak to Penn outside and he will fly off to a stable in the distance. While we won't be completing potential princess sightings today, it is necessary to kick this side adventure off so Penn is at each stable we visit today. He is the one that triggers some of the side adventures we need to complete to unlock each of the four great fairy fountains. The first stable we are going to visit to unlock the first great fairy fountain is Woodland Stable, which is located here. Speak to Penn, who is having a conversation with Mastro and Violin. These musicians are a part of the Stable Trotters, a group that plays beautiful music at each stable in Hyrule. Today, we will reunite the band as we awaken each great fairy. Each fairy only comes out if she hears some beautiful music, and so each of the four side adventures we'll be completing involves finding a member of the band and delivering them to the Great Fairy Fountain. Once there, they'll put on a show and the Great Fairy awakens. I gotta tell you, I loved playing all of these side quests. They're super charming and a lot of fun. Anyways, with the overview out of the way, let's complete Serenade to a Great Fairy. First things first, we need to fix Breezer, the band's beloved wagon. Luckily, there are some wheels nearby. Carefully place the two wheels onto the wagon with Ultra Hand. Speak with Mastro and they will get into the wagon. Now, in order to deliver the wagon to the fairy fountain, you need a horse and a harness. If you don't have a horse, you can find some wild horses near the woodland stable beside Pico Pond. Simply sneak or run up to one, jump on with A, and then mash the L button to soothe it. Once soothed, you can bring it to a stable and register the horse for 20 rupees. You'll receive two pony points as well. We also need a harness, which can be unlocked by collecting three pony points. You can get that third pony point by visiting another stable and speaking with the dude at the front desk, or you can sleep in the regular bed at the woodland stable for 20 rupees. With three pony points in hand, go to the pony points ledger in the stable to receive your harness. Speak with the front desk again and take your horse out. Change equipment and select the towing harness. Now we can fuse the towing harness with the wagon and bring the band over to the nearby Great Fairy Fountain, which is located at this spot right here. Once you reach the top of the hill, a cutscene will begin and Great Fairy Terra will be freed. The serenade to a Great Fairy side adventure will be complete, and you can begin to upgrade some of your gear, but you won't be able to fully upgrade your equipment until you find all four Great Fairies. That's one down, three to go. To free the next Great Fairy, we need to head north to the Snowfield Stable. Follow the music and speak to Mastro. To complete the Serenade to Miha side adventure, we need to head to Tabantha Great Bridge. The band's horn player, Eustace, has fallen down a hole. We need to get him and his wagon out of the hole. Here's how I did it.
this will complete the Hornet's dramatic escape side adventure. Now we can head back to the Snowfield stable, speak to the band, and we can see the wagon needs a roof. Grab a piece of wood nearby and give the wagon the roof it needs. Now take out your horse and attach the harness once again. Head towards the nearby Great Fairy Fountain, which you can now see on your minimap. Some bokoblins might attack you, but they're pretty easy to just speed past. Soon enough, you'll reach the next fairy fountain, and the stable trotters will put on another performance. Great Fairy Miha is now free, and Serenade to Miha is now complete. For Great Fairy number three, head over to Outskirt Stable, which is located here. Speak to the band, and we discover that Piper, the flautist, is missing. He was last seen near Highland Stable, so let's head over there. Follow the sound of the flute and you'll find Piper in a nearby tree. Piper asks you to collect 10 fireflies for him so he can impress a girl he likes. At nighttime, head to the Finra Woods, which is just north of the stable. Crouch and walk towards the little green fireflies and try to collect them. Most are just decoration, but the slightly larger and brighter ones are fireflies you could actually collect. This might be a bit tedious and you might have to start a fire and skip forward to nighttime again but eventually you will come across the 10 fireflies that Piper needs. Head back to the Highland Stable and make sure it's nighttime. Speak to Piper and he'll tell you his plan. Head to the stable and speak to Haiti. If Haiti is sleeping, make a fire and skip forward to the next night. And if it's pouring rain, wait until the rain stops. Come on game, you're killing me here. When the weather is finally decent, speak to Haiti. Slowly walk her to Piper's tree and he'll play his flute as the fireflies float all around. Now isn't that just adorable? You'll complete the flute player's plan side adventure and Piper will rejoin the group. Head back to the outskirts stable and speak with the band. Now we need to find a way to get the band and its wagon up the nearby mountain. The solution? A monster truck, of course. Luckily, we could find a giant slab of concrete and four giant wheels nearby. Attach the wheels, control stick, and the wagon to our monster truck, and from there, it's a pretty simple ride up the mountain. This beast can handle any terrain. Before long, you'll reach the fountain, and you'll get another great performance. Great Fairy Kesa will be freed, and Serenade to Kesa is completed. Only one more to go. For the final Great Fairy, head to Dueling Peaks Stable, which is located here. After speaking to the band, we learn of their missing drummer. To complete the Serenade to Kotera side adventure, we need to head to this spot here, south of Kakariko Village. Beats is looking for three coarser bee honeys, which could be found just north of Kakariko, attached to the trees beside the big gloomy hole. They're pretty hard to miss. Once you've collected three of them, speak to Beats, and you'll complete the Honey Bee Mine side adventure. Head back to Dueling Peak Stable and check in with the band. We now need to build a boat big enough to hold the band's wagon and cross to the other side of the river. For good measure, I added two fans and a control stick like this. After getting to the other side, we reach the fountain, and the final great fairy, Kotera, is now freed. Congratulations! The stable trotters are now reunited, and you can hear them play an awesome cover of the classic Lon Lon Ranch theme at every stable in the game. And of course, you can now visit any of the four great fairies and have your equipment fully upgraded, assuming you have all the necessary materials on you. Each upgrade increases the defense stat for a piece of your gear, which means taking on some of those tougher enemies in the game will become a lot easier. And with that, we are going to wrap it up for today. If you like this video and want to see more Tears of the Kingdom guides and content, 
please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. This is an important video as it will directly tie into some of the content I currently have in the works, where I'll outline where you could find rare equipment in the game and how you could fully upgrade them from a great fairy, including the locations of all the necessary materials. I'll also be releasing that video that covers the potential princess sighting side adventure, which when completed, unlocks an amazing outfit that prevents Link from falling when climbing slippery surfaces in the game. Indeed, Rain, the most powerful enemy in all of Breath of the Wild, has finally been defeated. Look forward to that and much more very soon, but until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone and take care.